I'm Elaine. And welcome to... We choose one artist for today, study their works, and see what we can learn from them. In this video, I'll be breaking it down into two parts. In the first part, I'll give you a bit of intro about Leyendecker. The second part will be the drawing process, which would be divided into sketching and shading. Who is J.C. Leyendecker? Joseph Christian Leyendecker was born in 1874 and made a career of illustrating magazine covers for the Saturday Evening Post, a popular American magazine which is still publishing until today. He is also known for illustrating very beautiful men. Shibum, shibum. So much so that his illustrations of men were given an identity and was dubbed the Man. A fictional man who became an instant heartthrob and would even receive fan mail. It is said that the Arrow Collar Man was modeled after Charles Beach, J.C. Leyendecker's lover and lifetime companion. After World War II, unfortunately, Leyendecker's career slumped. He died of a heart attack in 1951. But to this day, many artists still admire his works. In terms of sketching, I've noticed that JC's works would always pay attention to shape design. So for example, kapag nagdo-drawing siya ng hair, hindi niya dinodrawing per strand, but instead he would group it into smaller or bigger chunks, while keeping in mind the shape that it makes. Usually, it would take the shape of a triangle. Through shapes, you can break through the layer of two-dimensionality. For example, sa hair, instead of drawing individual hair strands, you can think of it as a ribbon or flat pasta. That way, you think about the structure. Draw using shapes. When drawing poses or planning a composition, try to see if you can still read the pose even if it's just black and white. So, how do we apply this? It's recommended that you do studies before starting an artwork. Kahit sila yung Decker mismo na sikat na artist, gumagawa muna ng study before diving into a bigger painting. I'll be applying what I discussed kanina, by finding shapes. So, gagawin ko muna yun by first tracing or drawing on top of the picture. After nun, alam ko na yung general directions ng shapes, so I can start to play around. After that, I'll do a messy sketch. Di muna ako masyadong mag-aalala sa quality ng line art since focus ko muna is to put my idea on the canvas. Kasi after that, you can create another layer to go over the first line art layer. Personally, hindi ko masyado nililinis yung line art ko since I usually paint over it sa huli. Plan the shadows. So as you can see, may hinalit ako ng mga green parts. So these parts will be the ones facing down. So dahil dun siya matatamaan masyado ng light. Ito yung areas na lalagyan ko ng darker na shade. Shading. I made another layer under the line art and then blocked in the colors. After I block in yung darkest shadows, I added the mid values or gray tones. As you can see, palipad pa ako ng areas that I work on. This way, you can balance the value of the whole composition and avoid over-detailing in one area.
Now sa hands. Isa sa mga nagustuhan ko sa style ni Leon Decker is how he draws hands. Hindi kasi siya super realistic mag-render, pero ang ganda kasi stylish siya but he still pays attention to the anatomy. Leon Decker used to work on oil paint, so you can still see yung mga brush stroke, brush stroke, brush stroke, and isa yun sa ina-admire ko sa kanya. Makikita mo na iniisip niya carefully kung saan ipa-place yung paint by looking at the directions ng strokes na ginagawa niya. Si Leon Decker, pag nire-render yung face, mahilig siya magpakita ng core shadow or i-emphasize yung core shadow, which is the dark band visible where light and shadow meet. Usually, ginagawa niyang mas darker at saturated yung core shadow compared to other areas. Naglabas na din ako ng reference para ma-finalize yung render. When JC renders the face, makikita mo pa din yung brush strokes. Usually, most prominent ito kapag triangular yung shape ng hair. Similar siya sa shape ng tree, or mas madaling isipin nyo na lang yung paan ng manok. Lagay mo sa buhok. Boom! Lay and Decker. And for the final stretch, we'll clean the edges with a hard round brush. And don't forget to put your watermark. We'll always have Paris. We didn't have we we lost it until you came to Casablanca. We got it back last night. I said I would never leave you. And you never will.